Hello and welcome again everyone. Welcome to another episode of Devotees of Jesus. I am your host Julian Phillips. I am a devotee of Jesus. I imagine you are as well. And let's begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, as we go into your word, I ask that the words that you want us to hear, that that be what come through my mouth. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 8, verses 11 to 13. The Pharisees came and started to argue with Jesus. Hoping to embarrass him, they asked for some heavenly sign. Then his spirit was moved. He gave a deep sigh and said, Why do the people of this present time ask for a sign? Truly, I say to you, no sign shall be given to this people. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went to the other side of the lake. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just as a, as a reminder, this program aims to get you, the listener, to dig into the Gospels more. The Gospels are the king of the Bible. The Bible, Scripture, is the living Word of God. And there are current messages. So when I say what I'm about to say, this is the message that I got. Again, you can read it and get another message. I believe God is able to use Scripture and teach us. So let's see what he has for us today. In other Gospels, we see Jesus performing miracles, heavenly signs. These miracles were to prove to people that he was who he said he was. Here we see Jesus is not going to give any sign. And there are two words that explain. Here we see the Pharisees and Mark uses the word argue. They started to argue with Jesus and they hoped to embarrass him. A little child can understand Arguing and embarrassing are not nice. Jesus does not respond to those who wish to hurt. And what they are trying to do is hurt Jesus' reputation. All the more with us, we need to ask ourselves with our agendas, with our initiatives, with our plans, what is the purpose with respect to others? Are we trying to hurt others? If we are trying to hurt others, we can be assured Jesus will not give his support. The reverse is true. If we are trying to assist, we can be 100% assured that Jesus will help. One of the reasons why this, this program began, sorry, excuse me, why this program began was to give people who, for example, may not be churchgoers or perhaps were, but depending on where they are and public health regulations aren't going to church to give them something, to give them some encouragement. And I must say in doing this program, I have been given a lot of encouragement in terms of my own day-to-day -day activities. Another thing comes to mind in terms of asking for signs. Let us say you are not argumentative with Jesus. You are not trying to embarrass him. You, you are really inclined to believe, but you, you need to see a little more to invest yourself fully. That is fine. Jesus respects that prayer. Jesus does work signs for people who want clarity. However, there must come a time when you invest yourself fully into Jesus without massive signs. Elsewhere in the Gospel, the end of John's Gospel, John chapter 20, verse 28, we see Jesus telling Thomas, you are happy because you see, but happier still are those who believe although they do not see. How do we believe without seeing? We can believe without seeing. 
because we get feelings and feelings make us believe. I have had more than one experience where I have been covered with a very deep peace. No, no miracle happened before my eyes. The, um, I, nothing supernatural took place outside of me for me or for anyone else to witness. But within me, I felt a tremendous sense that all is well. That is a sign. No, I don't think anybody would classify that as a miracle. But you, the individual, when you feel that, this is one of Jesus' ways of telling you, you are on the right track. Another example is that, have you ever felt, for no good reason, happy? By that I mean, have you ever just felt happy for the sake of being happy? Well, this is Jesus again giving you a sign. Now, this sign won't qualify itself as a miracle, but for you who feel it and you who know yourself and know, you know what, there's no particular reason why I'm so happy I just am. That is proof. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we, we go today, just a word to the wise. Jesus is overjoyed when we accept him, even though we have, even though there's no proof. So you may have never had any miracle happen in your life. No miraculous healing, no, no miraculous alignment of events. But if you just take this to mind, and this is the, the picture you are seeing now. This is an image of Jesus as the good shepherd. Jesus takes care of his own, and he takes care of his own very well. But I want you to imagine you are, you are a talking sheep. And you say audibly, Jesus, I want you to be my shepherd. He will shepherd you extremely well. Thank you again for joining us. Look in, in the description box today for a special video. Not directly related, but when you see the content, I'm sure you will join me in saying, wow, who knew 88 could look so good? Thank you again and take care. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.